you guys about why we decided ultimately to paint the cabinets. So, if you've been around for the last eight months, you know that we bought, oh, my camera. I don't have it on a tripod, it's just sitting on my dash. Um, so we bought our house, brand new, and it's very, I don't know if you would call it like modern, but, because I say that because it has like the wooden doors, it has a lot of wood tones to it. It has the subway tile in the bathroom, it has a sliding barn door. Um, so I mean, it's not necessarily like a modern house, maybe like a modern house with like a tiny little farmhouse flair to it. So I swore that I was done with the farmhouse look, farmhouse decor and all of that because our, act, our last house was an actual, like it used to be an old farmhouse. So when we were renovating it, we, that's like the, that's just the direction that we went. I knew that we were gonna turn it into a farmhouse again. So as you know, we had a lot of shiplap and we did everything ourselves and it was very farmhouse. This time around, I was like, I swore that we were done with that. <laughs> and I love the color of our cabinets. Do not get me wrong. I honestly, I love the dark cabinets. They're very nice. And so does Donnie. Like this, we've been talking about this for a while now debating back and forth what if we should actually paint them the cabinets are super nice but obviously they're dark we took down one set of cabinets and put up some shelves like farmhouse shelves in the kitchen and that opened it up quite a bit um, we changed the paint color in the whole main living area and the kitchen from like a beige color to um, a light gray but our kitchen is just very very dark it doesn't get a lot of natural light um, even though there's LED lights it's still it's just dark in there and now that we've kind of started making changes in the house we're like let's just do it like let's just paint the cabinets white it's gonna brighten up literally the whole house like our kitchen is a really good size um, we have a small house it's only like 1500 1600 1600 square feet so having a kitchen that's very very dark in like the main living area of the house makes the house feel smaller and darker so we really just want to brighten things up and kind of just realize like farmhouse is just our vibe like that's just the style that we like that's that's just what um you know that's what we gravitate towards we've we've tried other things and we've just not been happy with it so we're like okay we're gonna just do what we like we're gonna do what we love we're gonna go for it we're gonna ship lap we're gonna paint things white we're going back to the farmhouse vibe. We're gonna turn it into a modern farmhouse. I don't care if we live in a neighborhood. Uh, we live right next door to a farm, so <laughs> why not? Like honestly, just when it comes to decor, you gotta, you gotta just do what you love, you know? So we're gonna do it, why not? It doesn't, like for a while there, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna paint my cabinets. I have no plans to do any of that because our house is brand new, like why do we need to change it? But we've been here for eight months now and it's where we just feel like we're ready to start turning it into ours. You know, we didn't design it. We didn't pick out anything in there. That's just how it was. So why not make it how exactly how we want it? So that's what we're going to do. Uh, excuse me, sir. This man just literally pulled out if right in front of me. Like I would have hit him. He didn't even look in his mirror or realize. Don't you love when people do that? And now he's going 20 miles an hour <laughs> in a 35. <sighs> but, and now we're slamming on the brakes. Bless your heart. Okay. What is happening? We have arrived. I really want a new plant, but I'm gonna walk on by and not get a new one today. Mm, they're so beautiful. All right, just got done in Home Depot. Got what I needed. Did not buy any new plants today, even though I really, really want to do this. I had some beautiful monsteras in there for only 20 bucks, like medium sized one. I have a couple baby ones at home and I know eventually they will get that big. So I do want to get some hanging plants for the kitchen though, but I'm going to hold out until we're done redoing the kitchen before I buy plants to hang in the kitchen. So at least I know they have some good ones here. 
I did just sent Danielle a picture of the paint. I got the exact same stuff that she used to paint her cabinets. She definitely motivated me to do my kitchen. I do need to do laundry and like clean my room. So maybe we'll just go do that. I'm like half tempted to start painting today, but I know once I start, I'm not gonna wanna stop and I'm gonna film dinner for you guys tonight. So I'm gonna start the painting process, like the painting vlog tomorrow. Not gonna start today. So unlike me, but we're gonna go home and I'm gonna show you guys what I got and then um, we're gonna do some cleaning and then we're gonna do some dinner making. Okay, we are back. Let's get some lights turned on. And I'll show you guys what we got from Home Depot. So, I did buy primer. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to prime the cabinets. I'm doing this a little bit different than I've done it in the past, but Danielle did not prime her cabinets, but her cabinets were already white. She was like repainting them like a different white. So, I do, th I don't know, I do think I'm gonna prime mine because they're very dark. So I think I'm gonna prime them. So, I got Kills 2 Interior Exterior Multi-Surface Primer. And then, I got two gallons of this, which I was just talking to Danielle on my way home, and she said that she only used half a gallon, and she painted her whole kitchen, and like two doors and like all her baseboards in her kitchen and her living room and her hallway. So, and she only used half a gallon. So I have a feeling I'm gonna be returning one of these. But what it is, is the Bare Interior Exterior Urethane Alkyde Semi-Gloss Enamel for wood, metal, doors, trim, and cabinetry. Like it's a special paint that is specifically for this kind of stuff. And it's an enamel, so it's like thick and it doesn't leave, um, you know, like paintbrush marks and stuff like that. So I just got it in white, number 3900N. Where's the little thing? So this is a little booklet that they have of the colors that they have available. So um, this is the one right here that I got. And there's all these other colors available. So then I got, these were random, right when I walked in, they had these hand soaps that are a really good size. Apothecary Home Antibacterial Hand Soap Lavender Sage. So I grabbed two of these for probably the kitchen and then the kids' bathroom. Um, here's the spray paint I'm gonna use on the uh, hardware in the kitchen. So I'm just gonna take all the hardware off, spray paint them instead of buying new ones because I like how they look, but I would just want them to be dark. So I, I love this kind of spray paint. I use this kind, the Rust-Oleum Universal with this kind of sprayer all the time. If you guys have seen any of our DIY videos, you've seen me use this before, but um, it's paint and primer in one for wood, metal, plastic, masonry, indoor, outdoor. Um, and the color that I got is Carbon Mist, so it's not quite black, but it has a little shimmer to it. So I got two of those because I have quite a bit of hardware to spray paint. There's a lot of cabinets and drawers in this kitchen. So, yeah, also debating still if we're gonna take these cabinets out and do shelving on like half the kitchen be shelving and then half be cabinets. Still not 100% sure, but Envision white shiplap, the whole backsplash from the counter to the ceiling is gonna be white shiplap. We're gonna do a frame around the window. There's gonna be a trim piece here to like start the shiplap. All the cabinets will be white. This tile will be gone. We're doing like the barn X's on the island. This will all be white. Um, this whole side right here is gonna be shiplap. And I'm gonna get like a cute sign to put here and put some hooks to hang like cute uh, like cutting boards and just like kitchen type stuff. Also going to do like a pan uh, rod thing right here to hang, you know, cute decor stuff on. So that's how it's going to end up looking. But I don't know, maybe we will leave those cabinets up. 
I honestly just so many of my cabinets and drawers are empty that I just like I don't need all these cabinets but it might look weird if just half my kitchen was, <laughs> was shelves and half of it was cabinets I don't know probably just end up doing just leaving those shelves there and leaving the rest of the cabinets but anyways back to our haul um, I got two paint pans this is my drink <laughs> I stuck in there to carry everything in um, this they always give you these whenever you're getting paint and stir sticks which are free so I already have paint rollers but I needed brushes so I got these the best ones they are for smooth to semi smooth surfaces um, for latex and oil paints I got two of these one inch brushes because I figured they'd be perfect for painting like this area instead of like a huge paintbrush you can just like really get in there and then the rollers are for the flat surfaces on the cabinets I got these paint brushes for right here because I'm not gonna take this whole hardware piece off I'm simply gonna take these off to pull the cabinets off of here and then I'm just going to paint around the hardware here just to make it easier um, but I am going to paint the front and the back of the cabinets also I want to show you guys these cabinets literally we've only lived here for eight months and they're already like chipping do you see that like the drawers that we use a lot like they're already like wearing there's that and then this I love these paint pan thing uh, paint cups they have there's a magnet on there so your paintbrush will stick to it uh, while you're painting I figure I'd use this for like in the house when I'm painting like the the you know the base of the cabinets and then I already told you guys did I tell you guys yeah I got two paint liners one for primer one for paint because I already have like the paint tray in the garage and then these are for my garden I needed stakes for my tomatoes and my bell peppers. So I got some of those and then I just got some of this garden twine. tomatoes tied up it looks so much better they were literally leaning all the way over into into that planter so got I think the yeah these are Roma tomatoes here in this line these three and then these are cherry tomatoes you can see we have tons of cherry tomatoes starting to pop up Let's see if we have any straws
Jasper, I'm just sitting in the yard, looking down at the creek. Oh, hey, would you hold still so they could see you? Would they, what's, that tail, that tail is going. Would you hold still so they could see you? Hey, sit. Oh, I almost just dropped my camera. Cash sit, cash sit, good boy. Is you hyper, is you excited? What are you excited about? What are you so excited about? You want to go outside? You want to go outside? Oh, watch out. There's a door there. What are you going to do out here? What are you going to do? You going to drink the pool water? Gash. Get it. Oh, bless you. You going to go down to the creek and go potty? Yep. <laughs> Maybe we'll find a spot in the bushes. He will not go in our yard. He likes to go down by the creek. He's so funny. Oh, look, there's Jasper, too. <laughs> oh, the slobber. Come on, Jasper. Yep, I know he was going to drink the pool water, even though he has a thing of water right there. <laughs> he says, come on, let's play. Come on, let's play. Get there. Cash. There you go. He's at your spot. He's at your spot. <laughs> This dog literally all day long. I'm just laughing. I love you. Just a do. Just a do. Look at this lover. Are you gonna come in the house? <laughs> He's like, uh, no, I'm not. I'm relaxing. You wanna come in the house? You wanna get a treat? Where's your treat? You wanna get a treat? You can go in the garage and get a treat. Jasper. <laughs> You guys, these animals are cracking me up. Jasper will like run after Cash and like pounce at him and then he'll like wrestle around. Where's your treats? Where are they? Where's your treats? Are they in the garage? Are your treats in the garage? You wanna go get a treat? He's like, oh uh, yeah lady, let me out there. Okay guys, sit. Oh geez, there's a scooter right there. Sit. Easy. 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 Good boy. I've got laundry going. I need to put this laundry away. Um, dishes are done, counters are wiped down as you guys saw, but I've got a little bit of work to do before I make dinner. It's three o'clock right now, so I will see you guys around five o'clock when I start dinner. All right, you guys, it is time to start making dinner. This is from the Magnolia Table Volume 2 Cookbook, and we are making Philly cheesesteaks. 
So what you are going to need is two pounds of ribeye or strip steaks, three tablespoons of olive oil, two teaspoons fajita seasoning, one tablespoon unsalted butter, one medium yellow onion sliced into thick rounds, half a teaspoon kosher salt, half a teaspoon freshly ground black pepper, one large yellow bell pepper cut into half inch strips, one large red bell pepper cut into half inch strips, two poblano peppers seeded and cut into half inch strips, six hoagie or steak rolls split but not sliced all the way through, and 12 slices of pepper jack or provolone cheese. The first thing you wanna do is put your steaks in the freezer for 10 minutes. It just makes them easier to slice. So while those are in the freezer, I'm gonna work on cutting up my bell peppers, my onion, and my poblano peppers. Now I'm going to take my steaks out of the freezer and cut them into quarter inch strips. And then in a large skillet you're going to heat one tablespoon of the olive oil over high heat Add half of the sliced steak, season with half a teaspoon of the fajita seasoning, and sear, stirring occasionally until browned about three to four minutes. You're then gonna transfer the steak to a plate and cover with foil, and then you're gonna repeat that process again with one tablespoon of the oil, the remaining steak, and half a teaspoon of the fajita seasoning. Once the second batch of steak is done, you're gonna add it to the plate with your first batch of steak, and then you are going to reduce the heat on the skillet to medium high, add the butter and the remaining one tablespoon of oil and heat until the butter bubbles. Then you're gonna add the onion, salt, and black pepper and saute until the onion is softened and translucent about four to five minutes. Then you're gonna add the bell peppers, poblano peppers, and the remaining one teaspoon of fajita seasoning and saute, stirring often until the onions and peppers are caramelized about 15 to 20 minutes. When the peppers are almost done, you're gonna position a rack four to five inches from the top of your oven and turn the broiler to high. Then you're gonna line a sheet pan with foil and go ahead and lay out your hoagie rolls so that way you are ready to fill those up. Then you're going to add the steak to the peppers and the onions when those are done and just stir them in to get them heated up. And then you're gonna fill your hoagie rolls with the mixture of meat, peppers, and onions. Now I only had seven pieces of provolone cheese. I just got one pack, but I should have gotten two. So I just put one piece on top of each. It was still really good this way, but next time I'll definitely get two. So then you're gonna stick your pan in the broiler for two to three minutes. I kind of crispied mine a little bit, so I would say like one to two minutes on high, depending on your oven. But this is how they came out. Okay. What movie is this? <laughs> the Longest Yard. The Longest Yard, I knew that. We're sitting here eating these Philly cheese steaks and you guys. Yeah, it is. Uh, Best Philly eat. cheese steak I've ever had. Yeah, you can thank Joanna Gaines for that. <laughs> and me, because I, you know, whipped this up. But. You built it. So good. Yeah, I built these. So good, and it makes six of them. Yeah. 
I know what I'm having for lunch tomorrow. There's three more up there. So good though, a little spicy with those poblano peppers. I might add more cheese to them next time. But I only had six, seven pieces of cheese. But regardless, if you guys make this mm. and my comments are on, let me know or tag me on Instagram. These are so, so good. Highly recommend. Everything I've made out of her cookbook so far has been bomb. Perfect little leftover container for Donnie for lunch tomorrow. It made six. I had one. He had three. And now he's got lunch. The kids had dinner a little bit earlier. They were not interested in having Philly cheesesteaks. So that means leftovers for Donnie for lunch tomorrow. But now it is time for me to start editing this video so I can get it up for you guys tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, clean up the kitchen a little bit, probably save the dishes for tomorrow. I'll have the boys uh, unload the dishwasher in the morning and get that stuff done tomorrow. I'm also going to start on this kitchen makeover tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be the next video or if I'm gonna wait till like we do the shiplap and all of that, I might just do it in separate videos, like a, like a series or something like that. Um, but also I wanted to let you guys know that I have a cleaning video coming up that I filmed like, gosh, two weeks ago now. Um, I'm just waiting on brand approval. I told you guys that I was gonna tell you about a new vacuum that I got and it's gonna be in that cleaning video, but I'm just waiting on them to give me the okay to post it on Instagram and YouTube. So that's gonna come up soon too. And it was before I decorated for the fourth and obviously before I started like painting. So it may even be like after that video. I don't know, we'll see, but it's still coming. So lots of fun content coming your way. Stay tuned, be sure to subscribe if you are new. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.